Hi, I'm Brady Papinga. I'm the designer of the XPT, and so far we have discovered many different ways to use the XPT that not only enhances your workout, but also makes it safer. So the first way that the XPT can be used is very straightforward, and a lot of people, it's pretty obvious, and you can use it in a traditional fitness setting, doing traditional fitness movements, such as bench press, you can do row, you can do shoulder press, squats, bicep curls, and all their variations safely within the confines of the XPT. The XPT has a braking system that is very intuitive and easy to use. And first, the way you use the XPT just overall, the, no, doesn't matter how you're using, doesn't matter the exercise, is you're first gonna adjust the bar height. And the way I like to adjust the bar height is I look at it as where is it relative to my body. And so if I do a bench, I usually set the bar about to my waist. If I'm gonna do a squat, I'll set the bar height to around my uh, armpits and so on and so forth. Now the way that you use the XPT in terms of releasing the bar is by using these handles. And these handles have a couple of uh, variations to them so that you can adjust not only their width but then also you can adjust their positioning depending on the, the exercise you want to do. For example, if you want to do a squat, more people like to widen out their grip. Some people even like it for a bench press. If you want to go a narrow, more, a more narrow grip for like a close grip, close grip bench, even doing like shoulder press or uh, like a curl or whatever, you just move these handles in and out depending on where you want to grip the bar and it's just like sliding them like you would slide your hand on a conventional lifting bar. So to disengage the bar, free it up in order to use it, what you're gonna do is you're going to grip the levers. Now you'll see that the bar does not immediately drop once you grip them. That's another safety measure so that if somebody accidentally came and gripped the lever or what have you, the bar doesn't automatically just crash to the ground. So you're gonna grip and as you grip, you're gonna lift. The grip and lift is what frees it and now it is free to move through your lift until you're either done or you fatigue. And like I said, when you're done or you fatigue, you completely let go of the levers and the bar. The bar will come to a complete stop safely right at where you got stuck and you're moving on from there. Now let's say you're wanting to do some single arm movements for symmetry and also for core strength that generally you'd be doing with dumbbells. And as we know, dumbbells, you're gonna need a spotter and at times it can get a little awkward. The XPT is going to make it to where you can do dumbbell type lifts, but with the safety of the spot free braking mechanism. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to first load one side of the XPT, put a collar on there, doesn't matter which side. And then for bench, what you're going to do is first you've got to acknowledge that you've got weight on one side, so you've got to balance this bar, but you want the weight to come down to about three to four inches from your chest. Then you let it go and you're gonna widen out the grip just a little bit. Then you're just gonna release the one side. Now you got a core strength or core engage on the left side here since I'm working the right side. And away you go. And now you can do your one arm bench. And if you get stuck, use the brakes. And to switch sides, there's no need to go and load the weight on the other side. All you're gonna do is you're gonna flip 360 Position yourself under the bar. Now you're able to work the left side. In addition to doing bench, you can also do curls. And with this, all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it on one side, release it, and away you go. You can also do shoulder press with the single arm movement. By raising the bar, I'd just say about a couple inches above your head. Again, loading up one side, put the collar on, widen out the grip. You don't have to go all the way out. You'll get some imp imp impairment on the movement. You're going to grip it. I'm going to go behind the head. You can do your one arm shoulder press. Switch sides, same thing. Very simple. Turn around. The next way you can use the XPT is Olympic lifting. 
Now once the bar gets to the bottom, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the handles all the way forward so that you can get some back rotation. Now we know when you do a power clean or a snatch, you're going to want to have the catch. You're going to want to catch it and that requires that the bar rotates back. So make sure that you rotate the handles so that they are facing down. And then also, again, you can slide these handles in or out according to what exercise you do. If you're doing a clean, most likely you're going to be bringing the handles in. If you're going to be doing a snatch, you're going to be bringing them out wide. And then once you do that, in terms of setting the width of the, uh, the handles and then rotating the bar down, you're ready to go. Now after you've gotten the bar in position and you've got also the, uh, the handles in position being set at your desired width and then also face down, you're just going to grip them, get into your power clean or snatch position, and away you go. And now racking the bar in a power clean or a snatching situation, use the brakes to your advantage. I can tell you from experience that I tried to set a pretty heavy barbell down while doing cleans and I herniated a disc in my back. The purpose of the brakes is to help you. So when you're doing a power, let's say you're doing a snatch, got the bar all the way over your head, it's a long ways to go back to the ground. You're going to stair step it. So you're going to bring it down to your hips, slow it down before bending over, let go. Let the brakes engage, slow down the momentum of the bar, then you're going to lift it again and then you're slowly controlled, going to bring it back down to the ground. That way you're going to avoid having the bar pull you in positions that maybe might compromise the, uh, the body. And also it helps control the bar, it's a nice alternative instead of having bars jumping off platforms, it keeps these bars contained in one place. Now when you're doing Olympic lifting on the XPT, you will notice because the bar is counterbalanced at the top, there is a little bit of a lag because the counterbalance gets momentum and it slows down slower than if the bar was just free. And you'll see it right here. If I pull it up, see the bar keeps going high. Now there's a positive to that if you're somebody that's really concerned about the catch phase, you want to focus on that and slow that down a little bit so that you can get into the right position, you know, engage the right muscles, all those, all those kinds of things. It's going to work for you. But if you're somebody that's competitively Olympic lifting, meaning that that's your sport of choice, it's not ideal. But there is a way to neutralize that lag effect and then also will not only neutralize the lag effect, but then will phase load. One of the hardest phases to focus on in a traditional fitness setting, and that's the catch phase. Because most times when you'll see in a traditional fitness setting, that catch phase is overtrained by using bands, but then those bands are connected to anchors on the platform and you can't drop the bar, which as I've learned, can be a problem for your back. And the second thing is if you do drop it and you happen to land on one of those anchors, that bar ricochets and could and cause some damage either to you or somebody standing by. So let me show you how to use the band in conjunction with Olympic lifting. So what you're going to do is you're going to use an anchor. Now, the newer versions of the XPT are going to come out with an anchor already installed. But if you have an older version, you can install one of these anchors that... You can find it at stroops.com, that's stroops.com. You can find that in the description. To now you can connect bands and other uh, workout tools. And, the way, and, I, and these are bands from Stroops that I got that I had made specifically for the XBT. And you'll just connect to the bottom there and then you will connect it onto the barbell. With the band connected to the bar, now you're able to neutralize the counterbalance to the point of eliminating it. And then also you're able to overemphasize the catch phase which if you're looking to enhance your ability to power clean, snatch, that will immediately show quick results and improvement by being able to add resistance bands, progressive resistance as you're pulling to where now you're gonna to have to accelerate under the bar for the catch phase. Another way you can use the XPT is performance training. Nowadays, Olympic lifting and performance training seem to be somewhat deviating from one another. The one thing that I've learned about Olympic lifting, and it is a fact, it is very technical. It is a sport in and of itself. And I always wondered why use a sport to train for a sport, especially with your sport of choice. Mine was football. You have already enough 
skill, technicalities to occupy your mind and your energy. Why not have to invest time in learning a way to train that's just as technical? What's beautiful about the XBT performance training is simplified and it also is most reflective in terms of simulating those training or those competitive movements. And I call them true explosive movements. And those are just movements that there's no intentional deceleration, such as sprinting, jumping, a get off for a defensive lineman. Doing traditional movements like bench, squat, power cleans, we are training counterintuitive to true competitive movements. That's because we accelerate and slow the bar down, accelerate and slow the bar down. And the only way to really fully simulate those competitive movements is you're gonna have to accelerate and then throw the bar. And as we know in a traditional fitness setting, that is too dangerous to attempt. You can also do single leg and single arm true explosive movements on the XPT to better focus on the right and left arm, left and right leg for optimal symmetry and also to best simulate those movements that you do on the field of competition. A couple of tips with the plyometric bench press and the jump squats. When doing the plyometric bench press, make sure you do a little crunch in order to access the bar as you throw it up there. Some just try to reach up there without doing the crunch and can't release the bar. With the jump squats, I use a block to give me an extra couple of inches to be able to release the bar as I throw it up there pretty high. So performance training on the XPT is one that can be done a lot safer than a traditional lifting environment because, for example, if you wanted to do jump squats, studies have shown, and I'll put it down in the description to where if you have to catch the weight, you're not going to be able to develop the same rate and levels of power, speed, and explosiveness than if you had something that caught the weight because it's just like a car. If you want to get top end speed with a car, you got to press pure acceleration without slowing down. But if you have to catch the weight, that's your slowing down. That's basically when you take your foot off the pedal. When you train a way that most closely simulates competitive movements, it's pure pedal to the metal. That's what you get with the XPT. Pedal to the metal, no slowing down, and that bridges the gap between the weight room and the field of competition like never before. Now another way that you can use the XPT is through suspension training. It's become very popular as of late, very therapeutic, excellent for developing proper technique. And you can see on the XPT that you can do push-ups, you can do inverted rows. By adding an unstable surface to your feet, you're able to get that feeling of being suspended. It's excellent for the core. And then also you can do bodyweight squats, bodyweight single weight squats, and also add a ballistic movement to them to where now you're again training the way that you would compete. Another way you can use the XPT trainer with isometric training. Isometric is fantastic because there's no movement through the joints. It's pure muscle engagement. It's static and so it takes a lot of stress off of your joints and it's phenomenal to really activate and wake up the nervous system before you get into a heavy set. And it's also excellent for working through your sticking points. With the XPT it is seamless of being able to put the XPT in a mode of doing pure isometrics. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. What I'm using here is a simple heavy duty car strap for cargo that I will connect into this anchor point right here. And then I will wrap this around the barbell. And then you'll adjust the barbell to your desired height, depending on what lift you're doing.